And for the folks who were caught off guard by what happened in Loudoun County, I'm here to inform you that these things, unfortunately, have been happening for years now. As Morpheus once said to Neo, welcome to the desert of the real. The progressive elites have been infiltrating all facets of American life for decades now. Not days, not weeks, not months, not years. Decades. Using our largest and most trusted industries against us. All right? They turned everything against us by programming our children, changing our culture, destroying our institutions, and poisoning our systems right under our noses. And under the guise of inclusivity, they made the new Superman bisexual. And when we ask politely not to distribute this material to our children, we're called bigots. We're called racists. They, they call us close-minded fools. They, they look down on us. They look down on their noses at us like we're idiots. And they need to make decisions for us. Because we're subhuman. According to their ideology, we're not just inferior. We're evil. Justifying their actions with this sickening self-superiority, a big part of progressive, uh, of the progressive self-God complex is just that, is believing that you're the end-all be-all, that your creations are pure and precious and should be worshipped. The elites running our institutions, they're ripe full of this progressive self-God complex. And they're giving us a clue, all right? They give us a clue as to who's behind our children's confusion, destruction, and brainwashing, all right? They leave clues all throughout their work. They're sloppy like that. They're careless. They think we're stupid. Like I said, they think we're idiots. So they don't put the care into their work that they would need to not be discovered, that they were doing something wicked to this country, to our institutions, to our children, all right, make no mistake about it. Their intentions are evil. You see, when they made Superman bisexual the other week, they figured that was a good middle ground, a good starting point to begin conditioning our kids with. It packed just enough of a punch to make parents want nothing to do with it at all. That way, we'd miss the real story. The actual message they want to send to our kids Bisexual Superman was the carrier signal, all right? He was the carrier signal, but hating America. Now, that's the actual radio wave. That's the actual programming. From Jerome Hudson at Breitbart, Superman abandons fight for the American way, and now <laughs> he stands for a better tomorrow. One week. After DC Comics' decision to make the new Superman bisexual, the comic book publisher announces that after more than a half a century, the Man of Steel is no longer fighting for truth, justice, and the American way. No, he's now standing for truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. Apparently, the American way is not a better tomorrow. Superman's new motto of truth, justice, and a better tomorrow will better reflect the global storylines that we are telling across DC, global, and to honor the character's incredible legacy of over 80 years of building a better world, said DC Chief Creative Officer and Publisher Jim Lee. Superman has long been a symbol of hope who inspires people from around the world, and it is the optimism and hope that powers him forward with this new Mission statement. <laughs> Even Batman got injected with corporate social responsibility, with woke corporate nonsense. How nice. I wonder if he had to go to an ethics training class, an equity class, and take some online courses to keep his job. Clark Kent Superman's new motto will be seen in future comic books, film, 
TV and video games, the company said. The news comes just after DC Comics announced the new Superman, Jonathan Kent, son of Clark Kent, and Lois Lane, is bisexual. It's the latest abandonment of tradition for the heroic and iconic comic book character. In 2017, Superman saved a group of illegal immigrants from a gun-toting white man wearing an American flag bandana who'd opened up on them. Hmm. Programming, folks. The following year, the publisher used Superman to celebrate World Refugee Day, reminding readers that Superman is a refugee too. Wow. Don't you see what's happening? Don't you see what they're trying to do? Don't you see that we're being replaced? Our entire way of life is being replaced. Look, America was created to contain many different cultures, backgrounds, beliefs, and freedoms across many different regions. It's a huge country. All of us are diverse and different people living in different places, but sharing most of our core values. The disconnect comes from the core values and belief system. That's where it comes from. And here's the simple truth. We believe in God. And they don't. It's really that simple from a psychological perspective. It doesn't matter if you're Christian, Catholic, Jewish. If you believe in God, real science, and proven statistical data, your core values will be different than theirs. As people who believe in God, honor, and morality, we've been immeasurably patient, haven't we? But it's time to wake up and smell the burning bodies. We believe in God. We respect his teachings. Therefore, we respect his rules, his laws, his creations. The progressive elites and all their ideological worshippers, they, they believe God doesn't exist. At the very least, they believe he's dead, and therefore, they justify themselves as gods. You heard me right. They justify themselves as gods. There's no consequences for your actions, therefore, sin doesn't exist. And because of this deep-rooted core value, all their creations are special because they're akin to God's creations. And when you're God, you can say, do, and be anything you want to be, and it must be accepted. It must be accepted as the truth. Even worse, our belief in God is discredited by them as fairy tales. They laugh it off. They look down their noses. They look down on us. They think we're morons because we believe in God. <laughs> Don't you see? They think we're hurting our children by teaching them to work hard, by teaching them the benefits of marriage, of the nuclear family, of being heterosexual. There are benefits. There really are. They think teaching our children to love and respect each other, to love and respect their parents, and most importantly, to love and respect God and his laws. They believe that's child abuse. Do you see where I'm coming from? Do you see how our core values are different? So in combination with social media, high-speed internet, and an environment of no accountability or consequence whatsoever, these ideas have mutated into a highly infectious ideological virus poisoning our entire society. That's the real cure we're looking for. That's the real vaccine we need, folks. Thousands of kids across the country are now trans. All of a sudden, we're supposed to just accept. We're just supposed to accept this with no questions. It just appeared. It's it, not. We can't. Nothing. Zoop, keep your mouth shut. Beware. Keep your mouth shut or maybe you'll just get fired. We can't ask why this is happening. That's intolerant. We can't ask if there's anything we can do to stop it because stopping it implies there's something wrong with it and that may hurt somebody's feelings. And that's intolerant. Meanwhile, some trans kids are raping our children. <laughs> enough is enough. It's time we expose this rot from within and tell the truth.